Duchenne muscular dystrophy is the topic for uh, this video. DMD is a uh, X-linked recessive disorder. And because of its genetic inheritance, it affects uh, boys. And they usually are normal at birth, but they can start presenting uh, symptoms around age two to three. So what's happening in this DMD? Well, what happens is there is a mutation in a uh, gene called dystrophin. And dystrophin is very important because uh, a protein that is uh, in the muscle cell membrane. And when this protein has a uh, uh, mutation, it can cause uh, gradual uh, muscle weakness. And that muscle weakness can eventually lead the child to become um, wheelchair bound, uh, usually by about age 12. And the child can also have significant difficulty with uh, um, walking, getting up from a uh, position um, on the ground to standing up. Um, the child can also have a difficulty running or jumping or anything that would involve the, the lower extremities. Uh, there's a couple of very characteristic uh, presentations. This right here, this is known as Gower sign. And Gower sign is referring to when the child actually cannot get up um, without the help of his hands. The child has to walk up the legs when going from prone to upright uh, position because uh, he doesn't have enough muscle power to get up normally. So as you can see, the child is using his hands to kind of walk himself up um, because he just can't do it because his legs are so weak because of this muscular dystrophy. So that's Gower sign. Um, there's two uh, types. There's Duchenne muscular dystrophy and then there's Becker's Becker muscular dystrophy. They're the same, but it's just that uh, Becker's is a little milder. Um, its symptoms don't present usually until about age 15, whereas uh, Duchenne presents around age 2 to 3. And uh, Duchenne uh, uh, muscular dystrophy patients usually die by age 20 uh, because of uh, respiratory failure, whereas Becker's can survive till about 30 to 40 years of age. So that's, that's the main difference. The, other than that, the, the symptomatology is pretty much the same. All right, so let's talk just a little bit more about the symptoms. Both of these, uh, DMD and um, Becker's muscular dystrophy, uh, both have the same symptomatology. It's just uh, when it happens differs. So we have uh, difficulty walking. Uh, we have um, frequent falls. And then later, the child can develop uh, cardiac and respiratory problems. And the respiratory problems are usually the cause of death by age 20 in uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So how do you diagnose this? Well, the diagnosis is actually pretty difficult because it, it involves some pretty complicated tests. You have to actually do a muscle biopsy. And the muscle biopsy is what is going to allow you to analyze uh, the dystrophin uh, protein and uh, allow you to um, um, check if this dystrophin protein is indeed uh, have a mutation and that really is suspected if the clinical presentation uh, matches the disease so if you have a young child about three years old you know, progressive uh, weakness in the lower extremities is not able to walk or run or jump or stand, uh, then these types of specific tests can be done. Because the DMD also affects the heart, uh, cardiac tests such as an EKG and echocardiogram are also done as part of the diagnostic workup. So then uh, let's say you have diagnosed the person with DMD. How do you treat it? 
DMD is treated with supportive measures really there's no actual cure so you have to actually put the person through active and passive exercises and those active and passive exercises are done to strengthen um, uh, the patient's lower extremities other things that are used are leg braces and uh, ankle foot orthosis these uh, can help uh, with stability and and posture and can help uh, prevent uh, contractures that they get and it can also help the person with ambulation or standing um, and that's really all there is really that you can do uh, the only medication that's used is prednisone and prednisone is used because it can improve muscle strength and the muscle uh, strength with daily prednisone uh, can um, probably improve by about 10 percent um, but the problem is that prednisone because it's a steroid has a lot of side effects including weight gain in those Cushingoid facies with the bloated cheeks that you commonly see with people on steroids and uh, really unfortunately that's all there is uh, with the treatment there really isn't much more at, um, some because of the cardiac complications um, you probably need to have the child uh, take some cardiac medications um, like ACE inhibitors or uh, beta blockers but uh, that uh, that studies have shown that that can slow the progression of the cardiomyopathy that uh, patients with uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy uh, develop so I just wanted to uh, end off with a couple of vignettes and um, here we go a three-year-old boy presents with a history of ambulation delayed until 18 months of age toe walking calf hypertrophy and proximal hip girdle muscle weakness his pediatrician considering a mild static encephalopathy did not request screening for myopathy but referred him to an orthopedic surgeon who found that his creatinine kinase levels were greatly elevated indicating need for referral to a neurologist his siblings a boy of six years of age and a girl of seven years are apparently well the most likely diagnosis is well the fact that he's already he's only three years old and he's already presenting probably knocks out uh, Becker's because that doesn't present until age 15 um, but the fact that he's already got this toe walking and the muscle weakness um, leads to this uh, diagnosis the creatinine kinase levels being greatly elevated also supports the diagnosis of uh, Duchenne muscular dystrophy next and final one a nine-year-old boy is seen in the pediatrician office for supervision visit the mother states that he has Duchenne muscular dystrophy on examination he is found to have a hip waddle and enlargement of both calves he is ambulatory but his muscle strength is greatly is a, diminished symmetrically which of the following signs is most consistent with Duchenne muscular dystrophy we talked a little bit about this a Gower sign and just to refresh your memory Gower sign is illustrated in this diagram here where um, the child has to walk up the legs when going from a prone to upright sitting position because he does not have enough proximal muscle power to get up in a normal fashion